Great idea. All right. Well, ever since people have been around to even think about it, we've been fascinated with ghosts, spirits, the afterlife. And there are reported haunted buildings all over the country, and ghost hunters, both amateur and professional, love to go searching them out. They take it very seriously. There is a magnificent structure in Clearwater, Florida, that has a long history of being home to dozens of lost souls, and I decided to go check around for myself. For nearly 110 years, the Bellevue Biltmore Hotel in Clearwater, Florida, has offered first-rate accommodations to all who set foot on her spectacular grounds. This amazing structure may, in fact, be haunted. But one thing is for sure, it is incredible in so many ways. It is gigantic. How gigantic? 400 feet from one end to the other. It is, in fact, the world's largest occupied wooden structure. Yes, it is grand. It may be haunted. Either way, it has a lot of mystique. Painstakingly constructed of heart of pine timbers, this amazing structure, while peacefully welcoming her guests, also holds some disturbing secrets. The massive retreat looking over the shores of the Gulf of Mexico is said to be wrought with spirits of the earthly departed. Inside her century-plus exterior walls, rumor has it, history still lives, literally. This is the Tiffany Ballroom. It's the largest of the hotel's banquet halls. They call it the Tiffany Ballroom because in the ceiling are 96 panels of Tiffany-era stained glass, priceless. They also boast the original light fixtures. You can seat more than 1,000 people in here, or should I say, souls. Bellevue Biltmore, while larger than life, is also apparently full of life, both present and past. Throughout history, some great personalities of the past have stayed and dined here at this fine hotel. Babe Ruth, Thomas Edison, the Duke of Windsor. I wonder if any of them ever come back to visit. No way did that just happen. Many of the so-called departed spirits who roam these hallways are said to be those of little children, children who were often separated from their parents during their stay. As the dignitaries, their wives, their guests, dined on exquisitely prepared meals in the Starlight Dining Room, their children were not allowed to join them. They were banished to the much smaller Children's Dining Room, accessible only by a private secret staircase. Bellevue Biltmore holds many secrets, and daytime's cameras were allowed to take in more than most. This is the secret staircase. It runs all the way to the top floor. The children and their nannies were escorted down these steps to their own private dining room so as not to bother the adults. Now, if you keep on going downstairs, you'll find the basement, an amazing cavernous catacomb of tunnels. Ooh, talk about scary. The underbelly of this dwelling is no place for the squeamish or the claustrophobic. These cold, damp corridors stretch for miles. Back from the depths of the underworld, I joined Executive Secretary Miss Sharon, one of the hotel's longest employees. It's interesting that people that work here always have a love for the hotel. It never seems to leave. It's not like any other hotel that you would go to. In fact, my remark always is people coming here, if you think you're coming to a brand new hotel, no, you're not. You're coming to a 109-year-old hotel. And she will come with her little idiosyncrasies, but she also comes with this great love that's with inside of her. She is the white queen of the Gulf. By the way, did I mention just how huge this place is? There truly is intrigue around every corner. The hotel has nearly 300 rooms, two miles of hallways, 1,700 windows, and countless doors. Speaking of doors, guess where this one goes? Nowhere. There's nothing behind it. Nobody knows why. It's painted shut. It's never opened. It never will. It's spooky, huh? Now, that was pretty weird, but you know, I still haven't seen any ghosts. At least, not yet. Many people have compared this grand hotel to the one in the movie The Shining. You remember that great thriller with Jack Nicholson? Well, it's every bit as sprawling, and in some places, it's every bit as creepy. This is the mysterious fourth floor, where it's set at night. 
a very, very strange apparition. A woman walks the hallways dressed in Victorian clothing, and nobody can ever Dave? find out. <laughs> Dave! Huh. All I wanted to do was give him a glass of water. Hey, Dave! Come on back! Red Brown. 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 I got away. You made it out alive. I'll Thank tell you. goodness for the big wheel. What a cool place. I mean, seriously, there is something about that when you're when you're in the uh, the, the the Biltmore. It is so. Massive. It's, it's warm, and but you can feel this this presence in in the building, and it's very very old, and you can feel the the oldness of it. Wow, it's there beautiful. is a website that we found. You can go to haunts, sorry, realhaunts.com, and uh, there you can find haunted places in every state of the union. Very cool. Yes. Thank you for taking us there. Certainly. Coming up in the buzz, we've got the answer to all of your work troubles. A website where you can actually sound off about a.